Ooh. That is absolutely terrible. I don't even have any more of these. I didn't want to say apologize to you guys. I've been slacking when it comes to these videos. It's been uh, busy at work, the pandemic. I had technical issues with the computer and I've been testing out a new mic. I am hoping that this video turns out to be good, but if not, I'm not gonna be able to upload it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But today what we are gonna do is we are gonna uh, do a versus video between the Hilti and the Ryobi brushless impact drivers. But when I did this test, I felt the power of this and I what it was sort of equivalent to. And I honestly think that the Ryobi would actually compete with the Hilti quarter inch hex impact driver. The Ryobi will need the HP battery, which we're gonna use that. And so uh, we're gonna do two batteries each, uh, the 2.6 for the Hilti and the three amp hour uh, compact uh, HP for the Ryobi. Then the four amp hour for the Hilti and a four amp hour HP for the Ryobi. So we are going to do a little versus video. We're going to test this out, see how this is. And I'm seriously curious if the Ryobi could actually compete with this impact driver. Because if it can, it would be absolutely awesome. I'm hoping this mic's working, by the way. So the Ryobi is P238, uh, three speed settings. Uh, first speed, uh, sorry, this only gives uh, specs for the third speed. It, it, it goes to zero to, zero to 3,200 uh, RPMs and zero to 4,000 impacts per minute. I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Try LED on the front. Uh, it had, does have a magnet tray and it does have a uh, uh, bit holder. And so, yes, three speed settings with a variable trigger. So that is the Ryobi. And the Hilti is model number SIDA422. Uh, the speed's uh, three speed settings. The uh, first speed goes to zero to 1,000 RPM. Speed two, zero to 1,500. And on speed three, zero to uh, 2,700 RPM. And that is actually 500 RPM less than the Ryobi and I do not know what the impacts per minute is. I'll put that in along with the torque right now. And so, yes, this is gonna be, the, I honestly think before I even do this, that these two are equal when it comes to the power and uh, speed it, it has. The Hilti would last a lot longer, but when it comes to doing a test like this and continuous tests throughout in the future, the Ryobi, I believe, is gonna win. Uh, quad. LED beam, LED beams on the front, quarter inch hex impact, quarter inch hex impact. We will be using the Makita XPS, uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter with Tac Life impact rated sockets. They call it push in. Yes, it is. Call it is push in for the Hilti. And for the Ryobi, call it is also push in. Very good. We'll see what happens. All right, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got the safety glasses right here. All right, so first, we are going to do a couple of specs. We are going to put two specs, uh, six-inch specs each. We're going to do one at a time. Then we're going to take two out at a time and see which one has the best time. All right, and we are going to use speed three because it has the option. Same thing with the Hilti. We're going to use speed three. Battery is full. And yes, this battery does have 21,700 cells in it. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, that's better. All right, it is the Hilti's turn. It's on speed three. Battery is full. Ready, go. All right, so ready, go. Time. And last one for Hilti. There's good. Then speed three. All right, so ready, go.
time. All right, so what we are gonna do, oh, gotta reverse it a little. Get the, the bit out. All right, we're, we're gonna do Ryobi first. Ryobi is gonna take out Hilti's and Hilti is gonna take out Ryobi's backs. All right, so we're gonna take two out at once. So, ready, go. My bad on that. User error, I'm gonna adjust the time for that. It's only a, like a second. All right, so we're gonna take out Ryobi specs. All right, so it is on speed three. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. Alrighty, so we are gonna do one Timberlock each. We are gonna do Ryobi first. There's one Timberlock, because after this we're, we're gonna do uh, half inch lags. So zoom that out a little bit more. Very good. All right, so ready, go. It is Hilti's turn. Battery is four bars still. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, Hil Ryobi is gonna take Hilti's out and Hilti is gonna take Ryobi's out. All right, so ready, go. Time. Uh, the Ryobi is definitely a lot louder than the Hilti is. All right, so ready, go. Time. And I I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I would actually be doing a legitimate Ryobi versus Hilti video. That's the, this is actually crazy in how close of a test this is. We're, we're still testing out the Makita uh, XPS half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. We'll do a four inch. All right, no pre-drills. So there's no point on doing a pre-drill. Hardcore test. Four inch lag, speed three. Battery is at three bars. All right, so ready, go. It is Hilti's turn. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so Ryobi is gonna take, Ryobi is gonna take Hilti's out and Hilti is gonna take Ryobi's out. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow, Ryobi does that like it's nothing. It's loud, it's loud, but it does it like it's nothing. All right, so Hilti's turn. Taking out Ryobi's leg. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so we are gonna do uh, eight inch next. Ryobi goes first. All right, so ready, go.
Wow, that sucks. <sighs> that is absolutely terrible. I don't even have any more of these. The, the Makita XPS lasted two videos. Oh my God, this drives me crazy. Can I please have a socket adapter that doesn't break on me after like a video or two? So that sort of changes my plans. It is, it is late. Uh, there is not a hardware store open right now. And yes, another one bites the dust. The Makita X, the brand new XPS half inch adapter didn't last long at all. So like I said in a previous video, the one that lasted the longest was that uh, sort of diamond shaped, diamond style pivoting so uh, socket adapter. That lasted the longest. I'm gonna have to get that again. So already, it does look like we're gonna have to continue this episode in uh, uh, in another video, do more tests to do bigger lags. Obviously, I should have bought uh, more more half inch socket socket adapters. All right. So so far, when it comes to the adapters, they all suck, except for the old uh, diamond shaped uh, Makita one. Even the new XPS adapter bit the dust in a, a two videos so that's what we're gonna do and i'm amazed that th i could actually use ryobi against hilti in a legitimate video so please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time